and with which Butch Wilmore as well. We've collated uh, some information for all you viewers uh, to understand who exactly uh, they are. Let's take a look at this. Sunita Williams was born on September 19, 1965 in Euclid in Ohio in the United States of America. She's of Indian origin, but she was born in Ohio in the States in uh, 1965 on September 19th. If our PCR crew upstairs can be a little faster. Yes, she's the daughter of a neuroatomist and uh, of course uh, she has in fact uh, had nine space walks, the second most for a woman. The total time is of 62 hours and six months which is of course a uh, record hours uh, before this current mission in itself. Um, Sunita Williams, of course, a very experienced astronaut. Her father uh, was from Mahasana district in Gujarat and mother Ursuline Pandya was a Slovenian American. Uh, her father, of course, another uh, very uh, important, very well-known scientist over there. She graduated from the Needham High School in Massachusetts in 1983. So that's where she studied early on in her life. She also received a Bachelor's of Science degree in uh, Physical Science from the United States Naval Academy. She of course went on to serve in the U.S. Navy itself. She was commissioned and ensigned in the U.S. Navy in May 1987. That's a photograph from uh, the time she was commissioned. Before retiring from the Navy in 2017, she'd logged more than 3,000 flight hours in more than 30 aircraft types. So she was a pilot with the US Navy. She began her astronaut candidate training at the Johnson Space Center in August 1998. And of course, you can see an old picture of Sunita Williams. Her very first mission was on December 9, 2006, when she was launched to the International Space Station. So, uh, nearly 18 years ago was when she made her first space flight, and by 2007, she had logged 29 hours and 17 minutes in four space walks. Uh, another photograph of that time. Um, on April 16, 2007, she ran the first marathon by any person in space. Another photograph of that time, of course, setting a record uh, in space itself. She became uh, the commander of the International Space Station on September 17, 2012, a very crucial responsibility that uh, she held on to. She became the first person to do a triathlon in space in September 2012. You can see those visuals on the site as well. Uh, she was announced as one of the first astronauts for US commercial space flights in July 2015. Of course, we all saw uh, the fate of the Boeing Starliner. Meanwhile, earlier in December 2006, she took a copy of the Bhagavad Gita to the International Space Station, of course, keeping in touch with her roots. In July 2012, she took the symbol OM and a copy of the Upanishads to the space as well. Yet another example of uh, being in touch with her roots. She was awarded the Sardar Patel Vishwa Pratibha Award by the World Gujarati Society. Here you can see her receiving that award. She was also given uh, the Padma Bhushan by the Indian government in 2008. This is the third highest civilian award in India. Uh, she carried the Slovenian flag, uh, Samosa, and a Carniolan sausage in space to celebrate her Indian and Slovenian heritage as well. Yet another example of being in touch with her roots. Let's also take a look at who exactly is Butch Wilmore. Uh, 